Hello students, my name is Raj Kiran. Today we are going to simulate and synthesis of counters using behavioral modeling. Counter Counters are sequential circuits which count through a specific state sequence. They can count up, count down or count through other fixed sequences. Two distinct types are in common usage. Ripple counters Clock is connected to the flip-flop clock input on the LSP bit flip-flop. For all other bits, a flip-flop output is connected to the clock input, thus circuit is not truly synchronous. Output change is delayed more for each bit toward the MSP. Resurgent because of low power consumption. Synchronous counters. Clock is directly connected to the flip-flop clock inputs. Logic is used to implement the desired state sequencing. Ripple or asynchronous counters. How does it work? This is the logic diagram of asynchronous or ripple counters. Okay, When there is a positive edge on the clock input of A, A complement, the clock input for flip-flop B is the clock complemented output of flip flop A. When flip A changes from 1 to 0, there is a positive edge on the clock input of B, causing B to complement. Synchronous counter. The logic diagram of synchronous counter using flip flops is given above. To eliminate the ripple effects, use a common clock for each flip-flop and a combinational circuit to generate the next state. For an up counter, use an incrementer. Internal details of the circuit diagram. Internal logic. XOR complements each bits and chain and chain causes complement of a bit if all bits towards LSB from a bit equal to 1. Countenable forces all outputs of and chain to 0 to hold the state. Carry output added as a part of incrementer connect to count enable of additional 4 bit counters to form larger counters. Up down counter to count up the input to the next state is obtained by adding 1 to the current state. The count down in the input to the next state is obtained by subtracting 1 from the current state. A counter that count either in increasing order or decreasing order depending upon the selection line is called binary up down counter. Modulus counter the number of states or counting sequences through which a particular counter advances before returning once again back to its original first state is called the modulus or mod. In other words, the modulus or just modulo is the number of states the counter counts and is the dividing number of the counter. Determining the modulus mod counters are defined based on the number of states that the counter will sequence through before returning back to its original value. For example, 2 bit counter that counts from 00 to 11 in binary has a modulus value of 4 that is 00, 01, 10, 11 return back to 00. So, would therefore be called a modulus 4. Note also that it has taken 4 clock pulses to get from 00 to 11. The maximum number of possible output states for the counter is 2 power n. Therefore, a mod n counter will require n number of flip flops connected together to count a single data bit while providing 2n different output states. Modulus of a counter indicates the number of states through which counter passes during its operation. 
टू बिट काउंटर इज मॉड फोर काउंटर थ्री बिट काउंटर इज ए मॉड एट काउंटर मॉड एन काउंटर इज आलो कॉल्ड ए मॉड्यूलो काउंटर कमिंग टू नेक्स्ट पार्ट आई एम राइटिंग द कोड फॉर अप डाउन काउंटर इन बिहेवियल स्टाइल सो आई एम यूजिंग द प्रीवियसली क्रिएटेड फोल्डर क्लास डबल क्लिक ऑन प्रोजेक्ट नेविगेटर क्लोज एनी प्रीवियसली ओपन गो टू फाइल मेनू क्लोज प्रोजेक्ट एंड गो टू फाइल मेनू न्यू प्रोजेक्ट टाइप द नेम एज काउंटर क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट एंड फिनिश एंड राइट क्लिक ऑन प्रोजेक्ट नेम न्यू सोर्स Click on very long module. File name as counter. And click on next, next, and finish. Write the code here. I have written the code for counter in behavioral style. Here the inputs are. clock up and reset and output is count okay in behavioral model i have used the always block if reset equal to 1 count gets value of 0 if up gets value 1 count equal to count plus 1 else count equal to count minus 1 this is the up down counter using behavioral model the next part is click on implementation click on counter and double click on synthesize exist and save the code Check double click on check syntax. And double click on view RTL schematic. Three inputs, one output. That is three by four. And double click on technology schematic. And design summary report click on synthesis report here in water sale duty is flip flops Completion time is six seconds. And close all tabs. Next step is simulation. For simulation, we have to write the test bench. So right click on project name, new source. Click on very large text picture. File name is. counter underscore tv click on next next and finish write the stimulus here i have written the stimulus clock equal to 0 or reset equal to 1 up equal to 1 wait for 10 nanoseconds reset equal to 0 up equal to 1 and uh, wait for 150 nanoseconds up equal to 0 and i have written the clock always wait for 5 nanoseconds clock equal to negation of clock okay the next is click on simulation click on counter underscore tv 
and double click on simulate behavioral model click on this zoom to full view counter is counting zoom zoom in here in the first transition <coughs> clock is 0 up equal to 1 and reset equal to 1 when reset value becomes 1 the output will be 0 when positive edge of the clock ok in the next transition reset becomes 0 and up value equal to 1 and clock equal to 1 hence the counter is counting up 0 0 0, zero 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 Here I am changing up value to 0 after 150 nanoseconds up value will be 0 so the counter is counting down 15, 14, 13 and so on hence the up down counter is verified by using behavioral modeling the next one is mod counter there is modulo counter we are going to simulate mod 10 counter today and we are using the same folder called class so double click on project navigator go to file menu close project go to file new project browse to that folder called class click on ok and type in the name as mod 10 click on next next and finish right click on project name new source click on verilog module type the name as mod 10 click on next next and finish write the code here here I have written the code for modern counter in behavioral style ok inputs are clock and reset output is Q if reset equal to 1 Q gets value of 0 else if Q value will be 10 then the Q value will be 0 and else q equal to q plus 1 ok the next step is click on implementation click on mod 10 and double click on synthesis xst after writing the code save the code Here 
some syntax error there. Check the syntax errors if any. Okay. Check syntax. And double click on view RTL schematic. Here input is to clock reset and output Q. This is the RTL schematic. And double click on technology schematic. This is the technology schematics. LUTs, buffers. Okay. Then double click on design summary reports and synthesis report. Check bells, LUTs, flip flops, lag buffers, IO buffers, and close all tabs. Okay, the next step is simulation. For simulation, we have to write the test bench. Right click on project name, new source, well log text picture, type the name as mountain underscore pb, click on next, next and finish. Write the stimulus here. Here I have written the input conditions. Clock equal to zero, reset equal to one. After ten nanoseconds, reset equal to zero. Wait for one, one thirty nanoseconds, reset equal to one. And again wait for thirty nanoseconds and finish. The next step we click on simulation and click on mutton underscore TV. Go to process window. Double click on simulate behavioral model. Here, reset equal to one, clock equal to zero, the output is undefined. Whenever the clock becomes one, the output is zero. Whenever the reset becomes zero, the output is incrementing. Zero, one, two, three, and so on, up to ten. That is one zero one zero. After that, the value will become zero zero, and uh, again incrementing zero zero to one two. Whenever the reset becomes one, the positive clock clock. Output will be zero. Hence, this is called Morton counter using behavioral modeling. Here, we have verified the Morton counter and up down counter in this uh, video in behavioral modeling. Thank you.